Hello again YouTube, uh, this seems to be a night of video responses. This is a uh, video response to Callie um, who made a wonderful video about the power of words and um, yeah, good morning Callie. <laughs> it's not exactly morning but um, yeah, that was uh, a bit of a shock waking up and uh, watching a video on YouTube and seeing somebody put a personal uh, good morning to you. Um, thank you, you're great and um, yeah, Callie's a complete sweetheart. So if you're watching this and haven't checked out her videos, click on the video this is a response to and go check her out because she is completely awesome and yeah, she's got one of the, you know, one of the kindest hearts and um, best spirits I've ever seen on YouTube and she makes some awesome videos and yeah, she's really wonderful. So go check her out and yeah. On the subject of the power of words, which um, her video was talking about, um, words do have a lot of power and it's true that uh, you should be very careful what you say to people. Not so much because the words themselves have a lot of power, but it's more the kind of the thoughts and feelings and the images that it kind of brings in your minds. They have them all the power. Um, and it's quite true that a very innocent comment, the words themselves don't really mean much. But to the person you're saying them to, um, they can actually really hurt them or really make them happy. So you just have to bear that in mind when you're talking to people. So yeah, I promised Callie that um, I would teach her a little trick. A um, little disclaimer on this, um, it's actually an NL NLP um, technique that um, I learnt. I'm not an official NLP practitioner. Um, if any of you are watching this uh, that are NLP practitioners, you might see that what I'm saying is not 100% true um, as opposed to how you're supposed to teach it, but it's a technique that works for me, so yeah. Basically, if somebody said something to you and it's hurt you and, you know, it really does become deep-seated in your, in your mind and can really affect the rest of your life, um, like the comment Callie had. Uh, from somebody who said, um, having seen one of her paintings, you know, don't give up your day job. Now to her, that could have really negatively impacted on her life and uh, she continued painting, fortunately, because her paintings are awesome. So this technique uh, basically allows you to lessen the effects of people's words and in some cases um, make them almost completely meaningless to you, turn, turn them around. Um, the first thing you need to do, um, this is quite important, is to firstly focus on something that makes you very happy. Uh, maybe a comment that somebody's given you uh, that makes you feel very good about yourself. Um, Callie's example was somebody that said to her, you know, you're three o'clock in the morning, beautiful. And that made her feel really good about herself. You know, me personally, Callie's comment um, on the sidebar of her video. Uh, which, you know, was, was great, saying that I'm a complete sweetheart and, you know, that really did brighten up my day and thinking about it now still brings a smile to my face. So the first part of this technique is think about that and as you're thinking about it, do it with these two fingers. Just hold these two fingers and press them together as you're thinking about that good thought. Just think about that good comment, how you felt, when they said it. Um, just think about all the, all the um, joy you got from hearing somebody say that and all the happiness. Pressing these two fingers together tightly. Okay, now you've done that, let's move on, okay? What you now need to do is picture, or at least hear in your mind, the bad words. The, the phrase that somebody said to you that um, upset you, but not in a normal voice. Basically think of the silliest most comedic, silly, awful voice you can think of and say it in that voice. So, for example, it's like, Don't give up your day job! Don't give up your day job! Don't give up your day job! Wee wee wee! Don't give up your day job! Something like that. And just think about it in that really, really silly voice. And, um, trust me, that starts to make the words lose their power. Just that silly voice. Don't give up your day job! Don't give up your day job! And then as you're doing it, okay, as you're saying that, Don't give up your day job! Don't forget give up your day job! Also, hold your two fingers together, as you did previously. And what you'll find happens 
is the good feelings that you had from the good comments start to replace the bad feelings that you had from those bad comments. So, you know, and it works for me, as I say, I've, I've done it when people say nasty things and, you know, I've had hate comments on YouTube and people shout at me and laugh at me on the street for being fat and, you know, and <laughs> I've had it all my life and, you know, those comments do hurt when they originally happen, but using this technique, it helps and, you know, you can actually um, lessen the effect of them. So now when I think about some of those comments and especially the more hurtful ones, um, they don't hurt as much. And, you know, and if you ever do um, get to a situation where, you know, you are feeling down, use that same technique. Just hold those two fingers together and remember, just remember the, um, the, the, the good feelings from the good comments. So yeah, there you go. All right, this video is getting rather long for your response. So I um, hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Bye.